world welcome to mbank unfiltered where i talk about almost anything this video will be mma slash boxing six on canelo alvarez and this will be like my part two of canelo i did an audio on my website mbanksunfiltered.net y'all go check that out check out all the audios um and while i'm doing this video y'all please don't mind my security coming in and out their doggy door or if my son he back there playing video games if he get loud or if he come in and interrupt. So y'all just prepare for that. Prepare for me to mess up on some of my writing on what I'm doing on this one. But this is a Canelo uh, ducking evidence to where I would want to do like if, if we were like in a court of law, you know. So I'm like, Your Honor, man, I got about 20 plus moments throughout Canelo's uh, opponent selection. <laughs> After the uh, Mayweather fight to show that he is not giving th uh, boxing fans that are more of a fan of the sport than me. Like he ain't even giving them the fights they want to where like I'm mad because I'm like, dog, I need you to prove against certain fighters. And he just doing it against people that I know he going to win. Like, it's like, so your honor, since 2014 till now, uh, I got a duck in evidence and uh, and then, yeah, like I said, again, y'all go check that uh, Canelo audio on my uh, website and uh so here we go uh if you love canelo uh good for you uh it's just crazy that you know the whole computer raw stuff that uh that substance he uses to compete it's just crazy that like he needs that like i wish you know he didn't need a performance enhancing drug to where i can just see what he can do to where now his whole career is in the question of me but hey and it's like people be praising him for that Mayweather loss. Like it was only like, dog, he the only one I've ever known to get praised in a loss. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, but anyways, okay, Your Honor. So, uh, he fought Laura in a fight that deserved a rematch. So instead of rematching Laura, he fights Kirkland, who has a loss and who has been active for a year and six months. That's a Laura duck. Uh, some say he dug Jamal Charlo in, you know, November 2015 by going to 160 and fighting Cotto. I'm not going to say he dug them all at that moment. But before fighting out of four loss Cotto at 160, I think he dug Triple G. Because, uh, you know, to where he fought for a vacant uh, belt versus Cotto in October. And uh, Triple G fought Lemieux in November. Before making that Cotto fight, they could have made that fight in, uh, you know, October or November versus Triple G. Uh, then he defends his vacant 160 title versus Amir Khan, who's a welterweight that has a glass chin. With him not unifying versus Triple G shows a duck. Then goes down to 154, fighting 23-0-1, non-win having a, uh, Liam Smith. Uh, so one, he ducked Triple G by leaving 160. Next, he ducks Maul by picking non-threat draw having Smith instead of Charlo at 154. Then ducks Triple G and Maul by fighting three non-win, two loss, one draw. Uh, you know, non-threat for no belts, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Like what? Then finally fights a 35 and 36 year old Triple G twice. But both fights were close and deserving of a trilogy, but instead, ducks the trilogy, ducks Maul by leaving 160, and goes to 168, and fights non-threat, been TKO'd before, Rocky Fielding. In picking Fielding, instead of Ramirez, he ducked Ramirez, then leaves 168, ducking Ramirez, goes back to 160 and ducks the Triple G trilogy, ducks Maul, and fights been KO'd before, got knocked down before, and lost to Triple G before, or got knocked down and lost to Triple G before, Daniel Jacobs. Like, so, and I know that was impressive to some, but not me. Okay, then ducks the Triple G trilogy, I like saying that, Triple G trilogy, <laughs> and Ma at 160, Ramirez at 168, better be Evan Beevil at 175, and fights four non-win, Three loss, one draw, two losses by knockout. Non-Crusher Kovalev, who just two months and nine days earlier had a tough win versus Yard. <sighs> then Ducks better be Ev and Bibble by leaving 175. Ducks the Triple G Trilogy and Maul at 160. Then Ducks Benavides to fight non-threat Callum Smith at 168. And then most definitely ducks Benavidez by facing two loss. You know what I'm saying? One loss by KO. 
uh, Yildrum, who was uh, been inactive, coming off a loss, uh, was inactive for two years, five days, and that loss was to Darrell, who Benavidez, Benavidez beat. The WBC president said Yildrum was a mandatory. Mandatories never mattered in Canelo's case before. But when it does, it's versus, it's versus a sparring partner that's been inactive for two years. Coming off a loss. Now Canelo fighting known PED cheat. Uh, is fighting Sanders a known PED cheat. Which is exciting to some, but not me. Before this fight, uh, because this fight should have happened already in place of that Yildrum fight. And Sanders is a non-threat to Canelo in my eyes. Canelo knows a Triple G trilogy, a mall fight at 160 is too risky, a Benavidez fight at 160 is too risky, or a better BF or Bivo fight at 175 is too risky. So for as long as possible, he's going to avoid those fighters, those fights, because the boxing commissions are cool with it. It's laughable to me. So, Your Honor, I got about... Mm, 22 uh, about 24 ducking moments at least in my eye man y'all let me know y'all know darn well uh he should have been default so my thing is one he's a ped cheat you know what i'm saying that uh, he failed uh for computer on twice uh you know he's in cahoots or the the people that are okay with him cheating are in cahoots because they increase the uh amounts of computer all he can have to where now he can computer all all the time Okay, if you're going to do that, then fight the best still. To when you cherry picking and Combuteral using, like, man, come on, man. like. But uh, to me, it's more for the fans that are more passionate than me because they pay for fights. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll pay for ones that are worthy, but like, I ain't paying for it. Like, you drum, like, what they Rocky Field and Amir Khan. Who does see the Chavez Jr. for no belts? What the? <laughs> but, I mean, you know, uh, this is just mainly for the fans that are more passionate than me to also see this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dog, get in there with one where I'm like, it's a pick em, or like, I at least know you, it ain't going to be no walk in the park for you. Because, I mean, you've been tuning up tomato cannon, uh, whatever you want to say, cherry pick, whatever you want to say, man, like. At least that's what I see. Like, at least, okay, tell me something Rocky Fielding did worthy. Or who did Rocky Fielding beat? Or who does he's a child is? Like, Amir Khan had Danny Garcia problems. He coming up and wait. Like, those Triple G fights weren't clear cut to me. Like, and if so, at least they're worthy of a trilogy. Like, I don't know why people scared of trilogies nowadays, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like Ali had, what, two of them things with Norton and Frazier. Jack Johnson had three of them things within his first nine fights. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, uh, I don't know. That's just how I feel on this whole ducking and cherry picking and not giving the fans what they deserve, paying your money and giving your support. But, hey, it is what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I mean, hopefully I'm still alive and watching when he does fight one of these uh, threats or at least get in a fight that's more entertaining. But until then, I guess we're just going to chill and watch him fight this. Uh, PED Saunders dude off PEDs where I'm like unless he gonna be, unless it's gonna be computer all on computer all y'all gonna both computer all it up PED yay franchise champ yay <laughs> but uh, yeah man y'all let me know what y'all think uh, outside of that man y'all be cool keep your stress low don't be scared of nothing be prepared for everything peace.